We all know that changing a timing belt can be difficult. It takes real attention to detail because on most engines, you only have one chance to get it right. Why? The relationship between the crank and the cam gears is critical and precise. On many engines, if this relationship is altered by even one tooth in belt alignment, it can send valves crashing into pistons, resulting in bent valves, possibly a ruined cylinder head. The belt replacement process varies from car to car, so you should always follow the OE installation instructions and change interval recommendations to avoid serious engine damage. These intervals range between 60 and 120,000 miles. Now, let's get into some simple tips and tools to ensure a complete and accurate repair. Many water pumps on smaller engines are driven by the timing belt, so it's good practice to replace the pump when replacing the belt due to the amount of labor involved. And because both items have experienced equal amount of wear, that's why we have timing belt kits with a water pump and every part needed to do the job right. Before disassembling any engine for a timing belt change, you should rotate it so the timing marks are lined up at zero. It's helpful to dab yellow touch-up paint on the timing locations to make them easier to see. It's also good practice to remove the spark plugs so the engine is easy to rotate by hand. If you're changing the water pump, don't forget to drain and flush the cooling system before starting the job. Now, let's look at the tools that can help make this job easier. One of the most common engines with a timing belt is the Honda 1.8 liter. This tool is essential for removing the front part of the crank pulley to hold the engine from rotating when loosening or tightening. Next up is a cam sprocket tool which allows you to keep the timing marks lined up on the cam sprockets when installing a belt. Many timing belts use a spring-loaded tensioner like this Honda engine. Some engines use a hydraulic tensioner. It comes with a retaining pin that's holding the tensioner in the relaxed position. Remove the pin once installed and the tensioner will move out and tension the belt. However, if you're reusing the tensioner, place it in a vise and slowly push the tensioner pin back in using a pin tool to hold it in place. Some mechanical tensioners also require special tools, like this two-pin tool used on FCA engines to move the tensioner. If you need to replace the cam seals, order a kit that includes the seals. Then, use a tool like this, one to prevent the cams from rotating while removing or tightening the bolts. Rotating the cam sprockets with the belt off can result in bent valves, so be aware. As mentioned, this engine's tensioner is spring-loaded. To remove the belt, first loosen the bolt 180 degrees. Move the tensioner back and tighten the bolt. After the belt is installed and lined up correctly, loosen the bolt and the tensioner will apply pressure to the belt. Tighten the bolt to specifications. Then rotate the engine five to six times and bring it back to top dead center. Last step, recheck the marks, loosen and tighten the tensioner one more time and it's done. Remember, Every vehicle has specific instructions for timing belt installation. Always follow the instructions for a successful installation.